out for you, you're finished. Even your own troops can take the hint. Hail that. Something. We've got him. Bring him in before they send anyone else to cause more problems. No! I'm still here, you idiots! Truly not your day, is it? You. You think you scare me? serves at the right hand of the Demon Mother, who hears the whispers of the Dark God Cthon, who was chosen to learn his secrets in the one true tome of creation! Do you really think I could be afraid of you? Yeah. What? What? You want to know? Everything. Crossbones. Hydra's Black Ops Black Ops Division. You should see the file Steve's got on the guy. Faustus must have outlived his usefulness to Hydra. And sadly, us. Perhaps not. If decades of fighting the undead have taught me one thing, there's always an answer. Provided you dig deep enough. Nice. Let's get that back to the Abbey. Only maybe wipe it down with a napkin first.
hell up? Let me guess. Could not sleep. Starting to become a common theme here. It was not always the case. The Abbey was once a different place. We... I was happy here once. Now that is something I would like to see. <laughs> I suppose I have earned that. I have been extra me lately, as Nico says. It is just that for so many nights now, every time I close my eyes, all I see is Wanda, drowning within darkness, calling to me. I do not think I will ever sleep again. Not until we find her. Losing a comrade is always traumatic. It is perfectly normal to dream about her. I am not just dreaming about her. She is reaching out to me. I could feel her, Hunter. Hear her crying out for help as if she was in the same room. Such anguish in her voice. It's a sound I will never forget. Like me, you also have a connection to the darkness, Hunter. Don't you also hear it calling out to you in your dreams sometimes? Whispering secret things. Dark things. I turned my back on her darkness just as my mother turned her back on the world. I have no connection to her or her kind anymore. You can tell yourself that all you want, Hunter. But I've heard you calling out in your sleep. Calling out to your mother, Lilith. I know you dream about her. But it is not your dreams that concern me today. All that matters is we find Wanda. I hope you will do what is right when the time comes. Sweet dreams, Hunter. We need to talk. Yes? Nothing. Never mind. Okay. Hello, fellow shopper. Make anything lately? That is... something. Agatha always knew how to put a smile on my face. This new world suits you well. You look... strong. What is it you want? To love you. To be there for you as a mother should. Love. That word must burn your lips. Burn? <laughs> you have no idea. It is the only thing that fuels me. Everything I have done, everything I do, everything I will do is for you, child. Always for you. 
Can you honestly say the same about Sarah? Surrounding you with heroes who will gladly return you to your grave after you've exceeded your use. Wait! Not this again! Poor child. How did you end up so alone? Another dream. This cannot be a coincidence. So, word on the street is that the Abbey just got a massive shipment of artisan sodas. I thought we could throw a couple back, like... Partners on the Force in one of those buddy cop movies. Throw back. Ah, yes, like a toast? Agatha was quite fond of them. Bad idea. Know any good ones? Well, my Asgardian is quite rusty, but I suppose I could try. Of course, I would need some sort of goblet to throw into the mirror, and a nice sharp axe for the... How about I go first, just to set a nice safe benchmark? So, what flavor soda can I get you? There is more than one flavor? Oh, yeah. There's Thor's Thirst, Black Widow Bubbles, Loki Lime, Radioactive Rockenberry... Radioactive what? You know what? You just chill there, and I'll pick one out for you, partner. Hey, Hunter. Got a minute to talk? What is on your mind, Robbie? Fear, anxiety, doubt, you know, a bunch of feel-good thoughts and feelings about where this team is headed. Why is that? Wanda is... gone. And all calls to Banner are going straight to voicemail. Everyone's on edge about it, and that puts me on edge, you know? Try not to worry too much, Robbie. Kinda hard not to. Worrying is like Sparky's full-time job. You know, I can't help thinking. The Avengers are so preoccupied with reaching Banner. But I bet no one would notice if I like took off and joined Hydro or just, I don't know, disappeared. Robbie, everyone here would notice, including me. I'm not so sure about that. I am. If you were to fall off the map, I would toil day and night to find you. Yeah, yeah. I guess you are pretty stand-up that way. I try. Uh, well, I guess I should go find Peter. See if he wants to chill. Might take my mind off things, you know? That is a good idea. See you around.
Sending your friends out to fight. What's new, Hunter? Let's punch the numbers. Just more evil junk. Don't these people sleep? Have hobbies? We're ready to make a move. No problem. Pick your target, Hunter. Stay out of trouble. Hey, can I ask a favor? Thanks, Hunter. I could not have predicted this outcome, but it is intriguing. How's it going, boss? Say the next word. How's that for quality workmanship? Don't forget to write. Should be useful. This will do nicely. Let's get started, Dr. Spooky. No pain, no gain. Even a sorcerer supreme can't rest on his walls. Practice makes perfect. New and improved. I 
I think we've got something for everyone. Hey, uh, can I ask a favor? I wish I could drive a vehicle like you do. That means a lot coming from you. Hey, uh, can I ask a favor? Thanks, Hunter. Fighting prophecy is futile. Because fanatics will do anything. Hydra has been running some kind of field tests in the area, and that device is the key. They would rather destroy it than let us get our hands on it, so it must be important. Those soldiers are targeting the device. Do whatever it takes to stop them. People like us, a bad reputation. Let's try this. Tell if they're brave or just stupid. Whoa, that's spinning. Engaging target. <laughs> I know that wasn't 
change your signature move. Let's do this. Come get it. Really want to piss me off. Where do they keep finding these guys? Don't waste the opportunity. <laughs> Doesn't look like much to me. It doesn't look like the device will hold up much longer. We've got to stop those agents from destroying it. We've got incoming Hydra. You know what to do. Let me help. Got to. Still in my prime. Get Starting to get to me. Exactly what I needed. 
Device is gone now. Maybe next time. Don't play. I can't even focus right now. I'll head. I usually prefer quiet entry. Still in my prime. Situation is under control. Ah, 
I've been waiting for this. Four of them dropping in. This should help. Probably still won't be enough, but you can try. That thing is taking a beating. If Hydra does too much damage, it won't be any use to us. We've got incoming Hydra. You know what to do. This one's for you. about enough of this. They must be getting desperate. You should bring a couple more. You'll need them. It doesn't look like the device will hold up much longer. We've got to stop those agents from destroying it. This shouldn't take long. You guys couldn't even beat the security guards in my parking garage. we had of inspecting that device is gone now. Maybe next time.
to be the Hydra officer? I'd have guessed a warm body, but I think Lilith solved that too. Looks like they call for help. I still don't like your chances. Never seen that before. Time, but whatever. We've got incoming Hydra. You know what to do. Exactly what I needed. Smart guy. 
ought to make things interesting. Here it comes. Give the mother my regards in hell. Get some. These fanatics are always the same. You asked for it. Looks like we've acquired some new hardware courtesy of Hydra. Good work. Ready for shop class? I am ready. Right on. Wait, what's Tony doing here? It's interesting how you solve the heat problem. Is that a good interesting or a bad interesting? Neither. It's just not what I would have done. Right. <laughs> Hey, boss. Fancy meeting you here. I didn't picture you for the technical type. Wait, no, I'm seeing it. You're someone who's always appreciated horsepower. What brings you here, Tony? I couldn't sleep. Saw Parker slip off with a backpack full of gadgets. I was tired and bored, so I followed him here. You know, the only time I've seen the Howlride is when it's on fire. You think uh, Robbie will let me poke around under the hood? Popping the hood is how it eats people. Eh, we're safe. I'm canned beef, you're 17th century jerky, and Parker's full of, uh, spider meat. Shop class is open to you. Well, that's nice, boss, but I don't plan to stay if I'm not welcome. Look, this isn't my thing, and I don't want to make it my thing. I'll stick around as long as Robbie and Parker are cool with it. All right. We should ask them. The two of you heard me, right? Uh... Yeah, sure did. So, what do you think? I'll be completely invisible. Like Sue Storm? Like a slightly taller Sue Storm. Yeah, we're happy to have you. I mean, as long as the shop doesn't become a Stark subsidiary, I'm good. Scout's honor. Then welcome to shop class, Tony. All right. You kids do your thing. We have no big threats on the horizon, so today we're going to retool some of our gear. No big threats? What about Lilith? Shop class deals with known quantities. Lilith alters fundamental scientific principles just by existing. She's way out of our league. Besides, we have a ton of ideas in the backlog for these personal prototypes. It all depends on the components at hand. You already gave me the components. Those will come in handy. You ready to put this one to bed? I am ready.
No comment. But that's some good work. I would rather watch people make interesting tech than stare at my bedroom ceiling. You ready to leave? I am ready to go. So, Tony, um, did you have any thoughts on the project? What, who, me? I'm, I'm contributing now? We, uh, just wanted to know what you think. The Hunter has more options against the Fallen. I think shop class has already proved its worth. Really? <laughs> you think? That's my observation. Tony Stark is looking over our shoulders. How cool is this, Robbie? It's extremely cool. I've been told Stark Enterprises can be a toxic workplace. Late. What is it? Caught a scent around the Abbey that doesn't belong. It's faint. Not enough for anyone else to notice. But it hit me again tonight. How's that dog of yours when it comes to tracking? You two up for a little hunt? I am sure Charlie could help. And I might be useful too. You can start right now. This gate won't budge for me. But maybe you can open it. You sure that dog knows where she's going? No, but I trust her instincts. At least you're out. Guessing you don't carry around a lot of keys. Charlie will be the first to let us know if she cannot find the way. You two have a lot of conversations. I can tell you never had a dog before, Blade. You never got the chance as a kid. Too risky these days in my line of work. Maybe you just need to find the right dog. Haven't found a breed yet. The vamps won't eat out of spite. Oh, I see what you mean. Looked like some kind of jacked up shadow hound. If I didn't know any better, I'd say we just found the Bargus, but it can't be. The what? The Bargus, legendary demon dog of the old country, kind of thing you'd hear stories about around the campfire. A shadow hound could easily be mistaken for a spirit, but how would it have gotten here? Good question, but we're not going to find the answer tonight. Let's head back before Caretaker locks the doors on us. Damn, that thing is shifty. Looked like it knew we were coming, too. I'm no expert, but that's not our usual portal. Looks like magics, but I don't know. Red? We should head back. Don't want Caretaker to come looking for us. You coming? I have seen Caretaker mad. Me too. We better hurry.
If you got a minute, Hunter, I'd like to check in. I trust your analysis of that Gamma Bullet is going smoothly. It's going, but I'm not. Oh? I was this close to getting Faustus to spill his guts. This close! Then friggin' poof! Crossbones turns his ass to ash with his magic bullet. Our forces are strained enough trying to keep up with Hydra. We could have used his intel. We will prevail without whatever Hydra secrets Faustus had tucked away in his head. Well, we don't really have a choice now, do we? God, I would have loved to have had the chance to interrogate that bastard. I had been waiting so long to get some one-on-one -on -one skull pounding time with him. What a waste. Speaking of crushing Hydra skulls, I'm pretty sure Caretaker is waiting for you at the table with another mission. Let me know if you want me to join on whatever errand she sends you on. I could use some demon pounding time, release some of the pent-up aggression I was saving for Faustus. I will let you know, Captain. Carol. Call me Carol. Welcome to attend Ileana's surprise party. As much as I would enjoy that, my presence unsettles those incapable of perceiving me. I'll celebrate from afar. So you will be there in spirit? Oh, Hunter, how I've missed your wit.
front.
who did you want me to meet? Hunter of the Abbey, may I formally introduce you to the Hellride. Is this different than the one you have at shop class? Uh, no. But this time it's just the three of us. I always like to show her to all my friends and just realize that we've been so busy beating back your mom's forces, I haven't had a chance to give you an up-close look at her. Gorgeous, right? Even without the extra hell sauce, she's a beast. She is one of a kind. As are you, Robbie. Uh, thanks, Hunter. You always make me feel like... I don't know. Like I'm part of this whole thing. Uh, don't get me wrong. I love Nico and the rest of the sons like family. But... Well... Sometimes I feel more like... Invisible by day, rattling chains by night. Know what I mean? You are not a ghost to me, Robbie. Maybe not, but I have a feeling the two of us are gonna haunt the armies of Lilith anyway. Not as good as they say. Let's do this. We've got plenty of tricks for old dogs. No excuses here. this. Let's get to work. Take your pick, Hunter. See you, Hunter. Nice to get some. Ready for more? Constant innovation. That's the stark promise.
We need any advantage we can get. Good. I was hoping for something to do. Just more evil junk. Don't these people sleep? Have hobbies? This is definitely the coziest war room I've ever been in. Quiet, too. Priority. Stay out of trouble. You ever have the feeling like you forgot something really important but aren't sure what it is? You mean such as how I defeated Lilith centuries ago? Then yes. I'm having it right now and... Wait. I think... Oh no. Did I feed my cat before I left? Do not worry. Your cat will be fine on its own for a little while. Oh, it's not the cat I'm worried about. When Chewie gets hangry, well, who boy. Better lock your doors and windows. You cannot be serious. Actually, you're right. She just teleport right through them. You know how hard it is to get that pink goo out of the carpet? Oh, I can't believe I did this. I just know Chewie's going to lay eggs on my pillow again. Wait, what? So much mucus. As if the people of New York didn't have enough problems, scattered reports of Hydra activity are coming in from across the five boroughs. We'll head to the highest concentration first, and take it from there. Hydra forces in this area are causing trouble. Let's take them down. Sounds like busy work. I'm saving my own. Who designed your armor? 
because it looks like junk. This shouldn't take long. Whatever gets the job done. Really your best? They are being reinforced. They do not seem to be a match for us. Hydra.
the upper hand for now. You are lucky to still be breathing. Ready for round two? Behold the light gift. Excellent work. Why is it that for every one of these sites we take out, it seems like two more appear in their place? Patience. Hydra certainly lives up to their name. I've hunted an actual Hydra. That was easier. Easier than this. I live up to my name. Crossbones put on your head. Runt. Too bad he never said it had to stay attached to your body. Well, too bad for you. Big words. For a dead man. You got one thing right today, Sabretooth. Heads are definitely about to roll. Another mangy stray. You smell wrong. Compared to him? Good point. Now I get to kill two runs with one claw. Maybe I should be paying Hydra. Before he can hurt anyone else. Who are you calling an animal? Check your ears, Cree. <laughs> now for something real special. Kiss a goodbye.
your strength. I cannot seem to focus.
No mercy for the servants of Lilith. sort of werewolf? Expecting that thing around your neck to bite back. Can he heal from that too? No, no. But I'm gonna make sure he doesn't. Yeah. Nice to meet you too. Sounds like you had some unexpected visitors out there. Those two beasts came out of nowhere. Who were they? Victor Creed and James Logan Howlett. But I'm sure they'd prefer to go by their current aliases. Sabretooth and Wolverine. Those two have been at each other's throats for decades. Wolverine? Then he is a werewolf? I did not sense that from either of them. Because they are mutants. Like me. You are like them? I will not be howling at the moon anytime soon, Hunter. It affects us all in different ways. 
There are some things you'll need to become familiar with in our post-atomic world, Hunter. Mutants being a big part of that. A blessing or a curse in the blood, depending on who you ask. I can explain further if you must know. In the meantime, I need to look into what's happening in New York. Wolverine is an honorable man, if a bit rough around the edges. Sabretooth, on the other hand, is a homicidal maniac. The fact that he's got his sights set on you is definitely not good news. Wait, you know Logan? Who do you think first told me about you? You'd be surprised how many people have found their way into these woods over the years. And once they do, they tend to find a way back. I doubt this is the last we have seen of either of them. Wonderful. Logan and I are not exactly best friends or anything. He's more my brother, Piotr's friend. Like I said earlier, we're all mutants. Not to freak you out or anything. You say mutant as if it is a bad thing. In some parts of the world, it is a very bad thing. You've been sleeping in a grave, so you've missed out on the anti-mutant hysteria. The Mutant Registration Act, all that crap. So it is safe to say that things in the modern world are not easy for your kind. That's an understatement. So you and these other mutants, you all know each other from Russia? Hardly. We're all part of the X-Men. I mean, pff, not currently. But I guess once you're an X-Man, you're always an X-Man. Just like a midnight sun. Hmm, I guess so. And this Sabretooth, he is a mutant. Does that make him an X-Man as well? Definitely not an X-Man. He and Wolverine go way back. Who knows what their feud was originally about. I doubt they can remember either. He has been tracking us for a bit. He was the presence I sensed at the docks. Are you sure it was him and not... something else? I hope this Wolverine takes care of him, so we do not have to worry about it. <laughs> you should be so lucky. Logan and Creed have been chasing one another's tails since before I was born. If Logan ever killed him, I think he'd be so overwhelmed he'd pass out. Thank you for explaining this to me. It seems I have a lot to learn. Of course. Mutant society is small, but super complicated. But all you need to know is that Sabretooth sucks. Having Sabretooth wrapped up in all of this is another headache we don't need. I can only hope Logan handles him swiftly, before he causes too much trouble. How much do you trust this Logan person? Quite a bit, actually. He's a bit prickly, but he's dependable. Exactly how dependable? I would trust Logan with my life, the same as you. That is quite a bit of trust. I am surprised you have never spoken of him before. Logan is a good man, but he follows his own path. After this, I may not see him again for several more decades. I suppose there is nothing more to do but wait. I have a feeling we will be seeing more of Logan and Sabretooth. Oh, I'd count on it. Something on your mind? Nothing important. Isn't the angry children meeting tonight? Emo kids? Yes, that. I can never keep up with a modern lingo. Took me a decade to rid myself of thee and thou. The meeting is tonight. Then I should wrap up. Are you going to the meeting? Yes. I'll meet you there. Yes? We need to talk. Yes? Nothing. Oh.
ready to head to the emo kids meeting? Lead the way. Feels like we're getting closer to figuring out how you died. It's not too much, is it? The memories are painful, but I have endured worse. That's good! I mean, it's bad, but yeah, I'm glad you're hanging in there. Ileana wants to lead the ritual this time. <laughs> that surprised me. Why? Magic taking the lead and caretaker staying out of her way, uh, the world must be ending. Oh, right. It is. Are you prepared for Miss Rasputin to apply the metaphorical cheese grater to your soul? Ileana's all-or-nothing approach does concern me. As well it should. Raw power is always her answer. For this ritual, we need precision. I'm certain you'll be... fine. If all goes wrong, I shall pick up the pieces, as always. The ritual today will be unlike before. How so? We shall make real progress. I refuse to coddle you as the others did. I will push you beyond your limits. For this to work, I must break you. That sounds extreme. I need to know more before I agree. You wish to remember the moments around your death. I know a method to do so. With preparation, there is no risk. This is why you collected the ingredients I asked you to bring. You did collect them, yes? Well... no. Hmm. This complicates matters. Without ingredients, the ritual will be painful. No more than sparring in the yard. There is no danger to you or your soul. But it will sting. Now, are you ready? Can you tell me more about what you are planning? Do you truly care? Just about the results. Good. Ready? You may proceed. Limbo never forgets. It holds the echo of your death. What is your last memory? Lilith. A muddy circle in a clearing. Then I shall bring that echo to you. Now, you become its vessel. I am ready. What do you see? My head... it, it is... It is her! It is Lilith, in the circle. Do not fight the Echo. Allow it to wash through you. No, I... She sees me. I advance, prepared to strike. She just... watches me. Whoa! Is that... It is. My child. Look what they've done to you. You have no right to call me child, monster. So... misguided. I have never sought to harm you. Your army says otherwise. A distraction to allow for this moment. Ileana, stop this. Right now! Enough deceit. Speak plainly or suffer the consequences. Ileana! No! We must proceed! How plain can I make this, my child? 
If I am to remake this world, I need you at my side. Enough! No! You had no right to do that. Stopping your recklessness is my obligation. Stopping the ritual early could have destroyed the hunter's mind. The only threat to Hunter was your sloppy technique. You are impossible! You will never attempt this again. Do not constrain me. Just gonna stand here and hope they don't involve me. Yup. Mm -hmm. Um, how you doing, Hunter? We never thought uncovering my last moments would be easy. Yeah, I know. I just wish it wasn't so rough on you. As long as you're okay, I'm okay. The good news? We are definitely closing in. That's more than enough for today. You ready to leave? That is it for me. Sounds good. See you next meeting. We need to talk. Yes? Nothing. I have something for you. A video of a kitten with its entire head in a jar of peanut butter, and then a puppy licks the peanut butter off the kitten. Components for shop class. That's nearly as interesting. 